I will be reacting to Kevin's stage is Beyonce the GOAT. This is going to be interesting. But first of all, I would like to say congratulations to King James for passing Kareem on the all-time scoring list. That was phenomenal last night if you watch it. That was amazing. Let's go. Are you ready for the biggest Sunday in sports? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the Super Bowl 57, has all the Super Bowl action you need. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Plus, all customers can get in on the Super Bowl 57 excitement with DraftKings Happy Hour Super Post. Check the DraftKings Sportsbook app every day between 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Up uh, or if you're out here in California, you can check at 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. PST to see what prop bet will be boosted. Let me tell y'all for the Super Bowl, which one we on? Super Bowl 50 57. I'm going with the Kansas. To the Chiefs. Yes, that's, sir. That's, that's what I'm going with. I don't know about nobody else. That's I know some of y'all love the Eagles. I'm butting on the Eagles. Don't nobody care about them. <laughs> like Fly Eagles, y'all. Like Fly. Eagles, y'all. Listen, I grew up in the Midwest, and I'm going to stay in the Midwest. That's where I'm be. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code SKPOD. SKPOD. SK New customers can bet $5 on the Super Bowl 57 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Wow. Only at yes, DraftKings Sportsbook with code SKPOD. SK Pod. SK Pod. Minimum age and eligibility, eligibility, excuse me, restrictions apply. Void in Ohio. Sorry. See show notes for details. And with oh, that, H. and five, four, I, three, two. Oh. What up, y'all? Welcome to his thing. I'm Kevin Say She. That chick ain't there. Welcome to another podcast episode. I love the energy. Smash that podcast line. Oh, yeah. All 2023. Bangers, 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 just for you. Church announcement. This is the last week of the NAACP Image Awards nomination voting situations. You have until Friday, February 10th to vote. If I lose, it is your fault. <laughs> I need I have you to done win. everything I can do. I went down to the NAACP Image Awards luncheon. I sat with the president slash CEO. I Mr. Showed Derek Johnson. Mr. Derek Johnson. I didn't even know. I said hello to him. You know I'm always kind with the people. Didn't know he was. He's like, proud of you, brother. Looking forward to you. Like, God bless you. How do you, brother? And I met the... He uh, said, proud of him and don't even know what I don't even know. I just be like, hey, man, hey, man, brother, you look good. <laughs> so wait, they start off. We're going to start off the luncheon. Let's welcome our president and CEO, Derek Johnson. That man, get up from our table, walk up there. I said, let nope. <laughs> That's the man who runs that's this. That's the dude. He said, can't big fan. I said, me? You walk down to the NAA? <laughs> yeah. He said, and the CP. They don't like the acronym no more. Somewhere along the way, they like to say NAACP, but some things are just ingrained. Uh, I say, because from hosting so many things for them, I, I easily, N -A -A -M, excuse me, NAACP. I can do <laughs> NAACP. You can do it, I met I met Wendell Pierce. Oh, yeah. Now, you haven't people. seen The Wire, but he's amazing as Friend the of the pod. Friend of the pod. Hey. I said, Wendell, I said, Mr. Pierce, I'm just a huge fan of your work. He said, Kev. I love what you're doing. I love everything you're doing, man. You're so creative and amazing. Listen, he said, when you need us, you call on us. I don't, what, is it, I don't, what does when that you mean? you ready to take that next step and you need some heavy hitters, you need us, you call on us. And I said... Like... Yeah, yeah. Angel done been saying that. I, you know. I, I gave you credit, Angel. I, I know said you it. did. I just don't know why you didn't believe me. I don't listen to you. Oh, <laughs> Right. Use now, right. if I do SAG, if you do SAG low budget, that means you can get Window. You That's just got to pay him, you know, the minimum. That was and he's the doing whole it for point. the love. That's the whole point of me saying you needed to do church, sa uh, churchy SAG. Was. It wasn't for you to hire your friends so they could become SAG. Well, I just went SAG and did all the Tap Hartley <laughs> stuff. Yes. And went the whole I was other like, way. No, 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 no. This is so you can get the heavy hitters, the people that you have admired. <laughs> They will come on down to the churchy. They'll come on down to the churchy. That's all right. Uh, so anyway, it was super dope. Any announcements from you, Angel, before we get started? I did, but I don't remember them. God dang it. You having a day. I am having a day, Kevin. But you're, you're still standing. You're still strong. Shout out to Derek Luke. Hands on Fisher. All right. Friend of the pod. 
Beyonce, Giselle knows Carter. My she is. has separated herself from all other musicians. As of the Grammys this yep. past Sunday, yes. she is now the most decorated artist in history with 32 Grammy Award wins. I think she won four or five. Dang. Let's see how many Grammys? I think she won four. She, I feel like she went in with 20. She was tied at 27. Yeah, she won four or five. She, or not yesterday, on Sunday. Why do they have only 29? Have they not updated this? They they have an up 32. Stage you are crew saying four. She and then Stage four. crew saying four? Stage okay. crew saying four in the chat. Shout out to the parents. I thought it was three that she got. So two, and now Angel, I already know you think she's the best artist of all time. Go, great, great artist of all time. All time. The one thing that oh, you cannot argue. Three. Yeah, three, three, or four. three is right. Three, three? is right. Beyonce she got, she 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 got 29 for four, or she, she got, got nominated, nominated for five? She got nominated for four, won she three. She won three. She had 29 before yesterday. Oh, I mean, okay. before Sunday. 30, 31, 32, 33. That would make 33. If she, she had one four. How many? But yeah, she only has thirty two. So she won three. So she won three. Yes. If she would have, if she would have cleaned up, she would have won four. There you come on. I think. I know you already think she's the greatest, greatest. artist of all time. Prior to this, you cannot argue that she's not the most decorated artist. This is just a fact now. Mm-hmm. Yep. This yep. Is, yep. This yep. is. I think Quincy Jones and her were tied at twenty nine. Okay. I believe I don't know how many uh I don't know how many more Quincy got in him. I think somebody else, a composer or something, had a lot, like a crazy amount. But performing wise, I think like as a performer, I think she was head and shoulders above anybody else. Yeah. Um Is she the greatest artist of all time to you, the listener? That's my question. She's very polarizing. Uh she one is. of the there's an article that came out that's uh, uh the Grammy, some members of the Grammy uh, what do they call the Recording Academy? Members of the Recording Academy who vote for the Grammys. Uh-huh. Uh, some of them were like, I don't vote for, I didn't vote for Beyonce for album of the year because frankly, this one dude said this, frankly, she gets too much hype. Every time she what? does something, it's just the biggest thing ever. And he was like, and I also don't listen to all the music that's released. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think you have to listen to all the music that's released. Yeah. But if you're voting on album of the year, I feel like you should listen to at least those albums. Yeah. Right? Maybe you can't listen to every album, but they raggedy. But if you're voting on air, like how you how you how can you vote on stuff that you ain't consumed? And it's except he, MWACP Image Awards. You ain't um, got to consume up, nobody update, else's stuff. Update. Beyonce was nominated in nine categories at this year's Grammy Awards, picking up additional nods for record of the year, album of the year, song of the year, best dance, electronic music album. No, no, no. The awards that she won were those ones. So she won four. She won Best Dance. I saw that on my TV. Best Dance. She won. What other t- What other three then? Oh, somebody said Electronic Dance Recording, Electronic Dance Album of the Year, R&B Performance, and R&B Song. Yeah, she won Best Dance Recording for Break My Soul. You better have the rhythm. Oh, Oh, that's what the church announcement was. Duh. There will be lyric rehearsal this Thursday for song number two on Beyonce's Renaissance, being that the tickets are pre-sale is happening. uh, And song number two, as Josh is looking up the... Are you still looking up the thing? I'm trying to... There's so many different... Everybody wants to get clout off of the name that there's like... It's very confusing articles. I know. That's the reason why I said forget it. I was like, all these articles are saying something different. She shares a record Cozy. with Adele. A record of what? No, she don't. My head hurts. She don't share no, uh, not, not the one that we talk about, which is the most Grammys ever. No. Beyonce got it. Adele, do not. Period. Now, here's what amazing thing happened at the Grammys. Viola Davis won a Grammy for audiobook. She got an EGOT. And she got the EGOT. She got EGOT status. That makes three black women who wow. have EGOTs. There's four black people total. So it's Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi was the only one for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I want to say John Legend was next. Johnny. And then Jennifer Hudson was after him. I think she just got hers last year or the year prior. And she has an EGOT. Jennifer Hudson has an EGOT. And, Cynth- and then Cynthia Revo is only one away. Wow. And she doesn't have her what? Oscar? She doesn't have her Oscar. Okay. And she, we, if she would have got it for Harriet, 
she would have been in there because you know she got that Tony. Oh, of course. She come from Broadway. Yeah. And then she got the Grammy, I believe, for music and one thing. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Emmy, I believe, I, for, was performance related, but the Oscar she ain't got yet. Mm. Uh, but mm. Viola, he got status, and people are saying that that book is amazing. Mm. Uh, Viola Davis can do no wrong. She's amazing. Uh, she can do no wrong. Her interview, I already respect her as an actress. To me, she might be my she she is my favorite actress working right now. Um. <clears throat> But her interviews and stuff, mm -hmm. she is so, like, fun and interesting. Her Hot Ones interview, I randomly, you know, I be watching <laughs> random stuff when I be shaving. Uh -huh. her, her Hot Ones interview was a good time. I can believe it. Okay. You know, my, my uh, scale for how I like celebrities is would you be fun at a game night? Mm -hmm. Would you be good at Taboo? Oh, she's well, going to be both of those. I feel like she'd be a good time at a game night. I feel like she'd have great jokes, great stories. She'd be a solid um, giver on Taboo, but a better guesser. Yeah. She'd probably get seven. I don't know if she's a good... I, yeah, I doubt if she's a great giver, but I think she'd probably be a great guesser. And okay. great okay. guessers are all you need to fit in on the game night. Yeah. Everybody can't be a great giver. No. Nah. There's only so many me's, Melissa's, angels, but everybody can guess. Yeah. And you don't even guess. I'd be like, what are you doing down to the game night? Because <laughs> right. even a guess, a wrong guess can help you get to the... Because exactly. you say, if, I'm, if the answer pizza... And I say, you know, uh, uh, round or square. And you say, uh, uh, pizza. And I'd be like, dang, use good guesser. Well, that was a bad example, but, you know, you get I the point. It. Sometimes you use a bad guesser to get you the opposite of that. Yes. <laughs> Not that, but close to close it. Close to it. You're getting there. But when what you sit at the taboo and just let people talk, and you'd be like, I, I, don't, I don't know. know. Oh, I hate it. I don't I'll know. I guess anything. You know what the worst taboo is? What? Person who talk trash like they good. Wow. And they're given, and they be either passing or saying the stuff too long, or if they don't, if you if you stay too many ants, that's the main thing on taboo. This, this is what I hate. This is what I hate. Time starts now. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, wasting um, all okay. the time. Okay, no, you 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 know what? Pass, pass. I say something. You. you don't even know what information I know. You don't right. know how many times I played this game. Right. You didn't even say no words. Oh, it makes and me you, so mad. I don't need you to think to yourself. Think out loud. And I, then when they're like, well, it said carpet tunnel. Then break it down. You drive this. A car. Okay. There you go. Pulls right there. Okay. Keep that. Hold Instead that. Of push, you what? Pull. Car, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. A train goes through it. Tunnel. There you Put go. it together. Car, pull, tunnel. Tunnel. People and now we it. won. People don't do that. And it makes me so Okay, mad. back to Beyonce. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. Jay and Jay Z are the most nominated artists in Grammy history. Beyonce has the most Grammy, the most Grammys any woman of history. And she holds a record, her and Adele share a record of most Grammys won in one night, which is six. And that could have changed if either one of them cleaned I up. I thought she had more Grammys than any person, period. No, she any any female artist. No, Beyonce has more than anyone now. Okay, well, this this is Grammy's website. No, what? this is it. This is the Grammy's website too. Okay. This is the Grammy's website I'm looking at. I think Beyonce has become the most uh, decorated artist Trevor in history. Trevor did mention that though. That Beyonce thirty two, more. more than anybody in the history of the award. Yeah, all time record yeah. for most Grammy wins. <sighs> Just don't worry about it, Josh. That's okay. okay. I, on Grammy.com. I'm on Grammy.com. It's, just, it's official. Beyonce has made Grammy history. Her win for best dance Grammys electric don't know about themselves, album. Josh. That's Grammys like Uno not. telling Grammys, us how to Grammys play. Grammy's got a lot of self-reflection uh, to do. Yeah, her Grammy, you know what, it, though? You know what it is, might be, Josh? They probably kept updating it, and you might be looking at, like, the one right before she won the last one. Oh, where she won. You know. get what I'm saying? Like, when she was at 31, she was probably the highest female. Or You get what I'm saying? No? Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it do say it do say on Grammy.com that she has thirty two Grammy gramophones. Anywho, taboo. Don't Viola play. Davis. Viola oh, Davis. Viola Davis. Viola Davis. She is dope. She has such a, a sweet spirit, um, and um, she's super duper talented. That's there's no. What's your favorite about. role she's ever done? It probably be Woman King. Oh, she was great in that. I, I probably out of all of them, I've seen a lot of like um, how to get away with murder. The 
I couldn't stick with it, and it wasn't because of her. It was just the the plot and the relationships were pissing me off. Yeah, I faded out on that. Yeah, I was season just, one was lit. Yeah, but after a while, I was like, when they killed the black dude, I was just like, what is happening? Like, right. I'm so confused. And the it white lady, much. she's abusive to Bonnie? me, but she doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, it was. Just I don't like when they kill off um, a character that you really like. The and help, it made the, the whole help, series boring. There's only so many times I wanna. I, I, I think just when it took place is why I was just like, ah, even though she was great, I don't reflect on that role. Like, mm-hmm. I want to see Viola in this. I mean, obviously, during Antoine Fisher, the, the scene with no <sighs> words. Let me tell you, you got my two. That scene with no words, mm-hmm. where she said she got, we was having this whole argument at your house. Like, about how far that. was she, uh, she into her career when she did that role? Yeah, because Chance was saying that uh, it's not fair that she got, I think it was SAG minimum that day. She got like $1,000 or no. something like that. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, but that role, but my favorite, and it, not my favorite role, but my, one of my favorite performances from her is her performance in Doubt. I didn't one see One scene, ooh, Angel. That's if what you she won her watch Oscar award yeah, for. If you want to learn or teach somebody about um, subtext, you watch that scene with her and Meryl Streep because you were watching it and I'm like, wait, what is she, is she saying what I think she's saying? Or she, oh no, oh my God. She is saying what I think she's saying. Uh, And them both trying to get to their goal and the obstacles there, the beats they take, what the the internal monologue, I'm just like, oh, you working. Well, she was working with her white counterpart. I mean, she's not as decorated as Meryl, but, but she got she up of, there. When you think of given the same opportunities, I think she can have the same success. Oh, absolutely. The fact of the matter is, she granted I, Meryl, I sure has like a decade of life on um Viola yep. as far as an age. If you were to think about skill set and what they are able to accomplish, mm-hmm. uh, that's her. That is her female counterpart. And yep. like Angela Bassett is somebody like a Glenn Close. Yeah, like she has, she has sixteen on her. Meryl Streep seventy three. Viola is fifty seven. Yeah, Meryl wow. is old. Meryl been she's out old. here. She's, she's really good. But like when you look at Meryl's resume, Meryl been doing the goddamn. She ain't got no e got though. She don't, and she's not going to get it. She ain't gonna get no Tony. Ain't no. She could get a Tony if she went on Broadway. They would well, get most that of the her. people who get the EGOT. This is quite as Kevin. I'm not hating. Most of them, hardly anybody gets them off a performance. That mm-hmm. Tony they usually get for producing. Yeah. Very few people get it all performing because that's tough. No, it is absolutely theater tough. Theater is a very different discipline than. Screen. But Meryl got that training. That's oh, not yeah. going to be Meryl's problem. I agree. Her resume, it'd probably be the Grammy that she couldn't get, but her resume would probably do well on Indeed. Because what's better than find, finding quality candidates, finding them instantly for a powerful hey. hiring partner. You need Indeed. Indeed is a hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire them all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates with the right skills when you can do it all with Indeed. Find top talent fast with Indeed's suite of powerful hiring tools like Indeed Instamatch, assessments, and virtual interviews. Hey, waiting. Indeed's U.S. data shows over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job. I... Love indeed. And what I love about them is that they truly do pull candidates whose resumes match the job description. I told you all I used it when I was um, looking for a personal assistant. And the type of things that I needed were people who were social media savvy, people who uh, were able to telecommute. Um, I needed people who had really good email skills, communication skills, and all the candidates they were that were sent to me, their resumes that were sent to me, all had those skills. And I think I was sent like 43 candidates within a matter of days. And we wow. used them um, when we looked for office managers at the sound stage. Oh, wow. Uh, we used them for that. They give you good candidates. They give them to you quick. Yeah, They're they do. vetted. Mm-hmm. You know, so when you're hiring somebody, by the time you get to hire, most of the time, you know when you hire, you got to... You needed them quick. Yeah, absolutely. You, we, we people wait till the last minute, so you don't want to wait another two, three weeks to get Jeez. qualified candidates because you got to go to the interview process and all that stuff. Inter- Indeed gave me good people quick. That's what we're talking about. Indeed does the hard work for you. Sponsor a job and boom, Instamat shows you candidates whose resumes on Indeed fit your job description immediately after you post. With Instamat, you can start hiring fast. Join over 3 million businesses worldwide using Indeed to hire great talent fast. Indeed knows when you're growing your own business. You have to make every dollar count. That's why with Indeed, you only pay for quality applications. That's a long sponsor. Visit Indeed.com slash HTT. 
HTT. To start hiring now, just go to Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT. Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Angel, real quick before we go to the next person. Uh, someone said, Angel, how can I get my hair to be super thick like yours? It's so voluptuous. Okay, so one of the things you need is water. You need water. Mm -hmm. You got to water it every day. Then you need money to be able to make a wig. Oh. Wow. Human hair. What a plot twist. Because this is human. You see? <laughs> she is so That's funny. It, is. <laughs> it all works very well. <laughs> then, then you got to put a strap in here. It's like a snapback. You need to strap it. She is so funny. And then you... Angel! Wait a minute. Angel! Gotta get in there. She sprayed it and took it off. That's how you get it. She Listen, Angel giving y'all the secrets. People don't really give y'all the secrets. You got to put that Donna's recipe in there. Yeah, the Donna recipe. Put that Donna's recipe in there just because. So it knows Donna. Because Donna give you them nutrients. And see, this is a good lace. So that's why it looked like it was growing out my scalp. Mm hmm. I thought it was until this moment. I said, "Protective style." <laughs> well, who would have thunk it? There you go. And there you go, <laughs> ladies and gents. This is Lashaka. Listen, you better know her name, Deacon. Lashaka <laughs> is the name of this hair. Yeah. Dang. All right. It's too though. Quite she a little bit good. of controversy over best R and B album. You know, it's not the same as it. Do -do 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 -do. The song is catchy. They can't take that from Old Hurry. Uh, Robert Glasper won for best R&B album. Or for Robert Glasper. Radio 3 or Glasper. Oh, I was just saying. That's what he said. Five. And Chris Brown, who was also nominated, put on his Instagram stories, who was the F star CK is Robert Glasper. That was a nice and, at all. Uh, he Wikipedia'd him and y'all and said, y'all playing who the F U C K is this? Uh, what, you, who, how, what does that spell? Kept sound it up? Fooch? Fooch? Fooch. Oh, is that German? Yes. Mm. What does it mean? <laughs> I think it's a I think it's a cuss word. I don't know. I haven't seen it before. Um anyway. Fooch. Uh, <laughs> Okay, okay. So people immediately were like, ah, Chris, you that shouldn't was, have said that. That was a bad look. Here's the thing. <laughs> Josh, here's the thing. Just hey. like the white uh the uh, white dude who said, um, I don't listen to all the music. Maybe you don't know every musician in the world. Mm, I know I don't. I think it's safe to say you should know the musicians. In your category. Who are nominated in the same category as you. Because they can win as well. I I know the other people who are in the NAACP Image Award uh, category for Outstanding Social Comedian, Social uh, Media Personality. If any of them wins, I'm not going to be like, who are they? Yeah. They are the winners. Listen. I'm not to call out my twin over here. Last year, you knew who everybody was. But you didn't know who everybody was. I didn't know who I was. <laughs> no, I feel like you didn't know who everybody was. I underestimated the TikTok audience. Yes. And you, how much other people were going to promote. That's what I meant by you didn't understand who everybody was. And this is Chris. Chris thought. But no, I know. Chris they didn't still know. Run it, run it. <laughs> he was like, how, how could someone that isn't me or my caliber beat me but he did he did and he's won that grammy like three times people say every time he's released a black radio album he won a grammy apparently i can believe it now i personally love robert glasper he be doing residencies down at the blue note mm -hmm. in new york and at tokyo i would love to small random dream i'd love to be in tokyo and robert glasper's in town or or um, Corey henry and the funk apostles in town i could go down to a jazz the club Cory henry and the funk apostles Oh, it sounded like you said end. apostles. No, I said funk. That's just my lisp. A uh, lisp does uh, not affect ends. It was. <laughs> <laughs> so what people were saying about Chris Brown is like, you should work with Robert Glasper mm -hmm. because we're kind of tired of hearing the same beat over and over mm -hmm. and over and mm -hmm. over. Uh, Jameson Bethay, very talented creator, 
He mixed one of Chris Brown's songs with one of Robert Glasper's songs. I can't wait to hear it. Sounds like this. Oh, shh. Mm. You can remove Chris off of here. I just want to. He put soul in that. It's so much better though. So Robert's on the keys, Angel. I know, I can tell. Angel. That's the part that's mm. fire. Because I, I, Take You Down is not one of my favorite songs. So the fact that I like what I'm hearing. Listen, this, this black radio... <laughs> Um, I, is that Jill Scott? I felt so chills on my skin. Oh man! Is that black? Is that? No, it's music so child. That is. This is the real one. This is music. Yeah, music. This is Barbara Glasper, but music so child's the artist. So he does compilation albums with other artists. Music is his chest. Oh. Ain't it just it butter? It's a chill down my <laughs> It's grown and sexy. Bye. I got a little old-fashioned. Marcus got the hat on and the cigar. This is effing music. I don't care what you This is. I think yes. It's overrated. This just shows you that you have to be humble in any situation because you don't know what someone else is be capable of doing, you know? Uh, I think they'll work together, though. Huh? I think they'll work together. Thankfully, you're both me. This life, yeah, you gotta be with someone you like. Ooh. Ain't it good? <laughs> yes, this is good. That's that 42, Angel. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, I've heard this song. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Now, what the old folks used to say, now, if you would sit down and learn yourself a thing or two, you might be all right. <coughs> yeah. Chris, very talented gentleman. Mm -hmm. Them albums be 38 songs of the exact same vibe. Help. <laughs> Help. Mm -hmm. And Why? I like Chris Brown. Listen, give you with some... Look, Robert Glasper, no musicians. Josh sent me a TikTok. Robert Glasper Ooh. went down to the tiny desk and said, let's make something up on the spot. Of course, we could play something that we all know. Let's make something up. Sir, uh, you got the confidence in your abilities to walk down to the NPR at the Washington, D.C.? That that's jazz confidence. Dog. <laughs> that's, let's just find a tempo, and we'll all just flex and riff when it's our time to shine. That's uh. just shedding. In the black community, Shit. we call that shedding. That's when everybody's beard's growing <laughs> up. Yeah, you shit. go down to Doobie Powell's shed, and you, you, somebody on the keys, somebody on the bass, somebody on the, the guitar, Woo. and we just vibing out. The chords. I would totally love chords that. Just to sit down and just God. soak everything in. It's the, it's oh, the time man. to make you tingle. It's like, oh, you going to go there? Mm. I wasn't expecting Oh, I wasn't expecting that. It's like when you rub a dog right in the right place. Mm -hmm. and, like, and that oh. leg starts to go on. Those are the chords that he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Monty fell asleep. He spent the night in our room last night, right? Oh, and it's over. He, yeah, it's over. He sleeps in, this, in the bathroom. This boy jumped on the bed and was like, hey, I got to do do I know I'm not supposed to be up here and I don't even usually do this. I'm gonna take a shit I said, on what are you head. doing? Get out of here. He's like, all right. He went over there and laid by the, he farted he went <laughs> and laid by the door. I Damn. said, I this dog outside. Yes. That boy ran down the stairs. Ooh. Yeah, he said, went it out is to the headed. backyard. Usually he run around, sniff around. He went right to his doo-doo spot. It was like, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, it was <laughs> Oh, out my God. And, I, and he was like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb y'all sleep. I don't even do that. I know I don't be up on that bed. But y'all would be way more mad at me if I would have doodled on that oh. gram. And it was only, it was 4.30. I wasn't going to make it till, would y'all wake up around 6? Oh, yeah, I no. wasn't going to make up to around 6. I apologize. I usually do better about it, holding it in. That boy was it going through it. Oh, bless he, his he, heart. He, oh, Jesus. 
this her ah. head and her she squirts. <laughs> He's like, oh, let, he's like, let me just toot a little bit. Him? He's like, let me, regular stuff. He's like, let me just toot a little bit. It'll hold on until six o'clock. Yo, once you fart, I said, oh, no, you oh. farted? And them <laughs> dog farts are terrible. Oh, yeah. I y'all feed they him stick, wet food. They stick food to the wet? paint. Mm-hmm. That's why it's, that's why it's Monty come gets out a four fast. course meal at every meal. He eats yeah. from Ruth Chris. The, that's, yeah, that's why he's waking y'all up at 4 it's, it's Woof Chris. Ah, I love it. Yes, there are more Black Radio albums. I think that was Black Radio 3. The one I was playing was uh, Black Radio 1. What I meant to tell you was that or Black if Radio. Melissa would have bought Beyonce tickets yesterday and not said anything to me, I was going to come to your house and kill Monty. So that, that's on our docket just, as well. Just held him up for a hawk. When I tell you... This would have been my <laughs> I would have put a chain on him and been like, I hope y'all have a good time. That would good, though. At the Renaissance. Wow! Oh. You done turned my baby into a purse. Oh, I would have, I would have slit his stomach and stuffed my wallet. In well, there. so the thing <laughs> is about the verified presale. You can, oh, if you get, if you get selected, you can only buy four tickets. I know. So how could she have bought any for you? Uh, no, just tell me. I didn't say she had to buy tickets. Oh. Just say to me, we we get, we didn't got tickets. Oh. These doggone tickets are... It's ridiculous. The, how she go get tickets? I didn't say she had to buy me oh, tickets. Oh, I thought you missed you and buy these tickets. No, no, I no, thought no. Josh had tickets. He so put no. that he had it, and no. I texted. I did it. I was like, wow. And then I be getting distracted. On I comment, and then something else will happen. And his next slide was like, I was trolling, but he... I, I, didn't, I didn't know. know. Trolling. No, I but didn't let me it. let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. We're going to call our good friend, Jonathan Major, see if he got tickets. We was gonna talk about that as well. Okay, we gonna get to it. We gonna get to it with the Jonathan Major. He done. We'll tell y'all about He's the story. Friend of the pot. Are we friend doing it? We already did the second one. You want me to tell? We got like five minutes into the, the, the third one. And the so the second one. It's held two and three. Okay, so Chris Brown apologized to yes, Robert Glasper. Should. He said he DM'd him. I imagine. Congratulations, my brother. I would like to apologize if you took offense to my reaction at the Grammys. Already mistake. All you got to do is say I apologize. You, people don't know how to apologize. They don't. He said Especially if they apologize and then post their apology. Let me tell you what, yeah. I, what a good apology is, what even though say? it's very difficult. I'm going to read the rest of it to you. Okay. This is a good apology. I broke the egg. I apologize because I broke the egg. Not I apologize because I broke the egg. If that, that upset you, I apologize because I, uh, the, the egg fell and, and it got it on your carpet. Right. I apologize if you took offense to the egg falling. Yeah. It's very difficult to take accountability and just say, you know what, Robert Glasper, I, this is a good. Let me read you a bad apology. I'm gonna give you a good one. Okay. This is Chris Brown's bad apology. Oh no, this is Chris Brown. This is his actual one. Congratulations, my brother. I would like to apologize if you took offense to my reaction at the Grammys. You were not the intended target, and I know I came off really rude and mean. After doing my research, I actually think you're amazing. The organization, your organization is isn't, isn't doing, doing us, us blacks black. <laughs> our due diligence. You and I should never be in the same category. Two def- two totally different vibes and genres. So from one black man to another, congratulations. Hope you are able to feed your family for life. God bless my G. This is what, using his words. Congratulations, my brother. I would like to apologize. I came off really rude and mean. After doing my research, I think you're amazing. God bless. Good night. (laughs) Let me do it in my own words. Congratulations, my brother. I apologize. I was upset. I'm not really familiar with your game. I thought I had that Grammy in the bag. I didn't even think you should be um, nominated with me because you make, you know, R&B type vibes that are different than mine. I've been making the same song for a long time now. I didn't think the Grammys would notice. Uh, I guess they didn't take my name down. Remember I did that Michael Jackson tribute? Crazy. Uh, Anyway. When we work together on Black Radio 4 and also do my whole next album, then people will be like, dang, Chris Brown's music finally aged up because he's been making the same thing since Run It and Run It and all them drugs and tattoos don't make it sound any different. No. Anyway, I really messed that whole career up, didn't I? Show was on my way. I would have said... Bye. Uh, I'm sorry. I had a grown man tantrum. <laughs> I was a baby. I have had tantrums before. God bless. We got up out of there. Yeah, no need, no need for explanation. I don't need to hear your your mental t- turmoil. <laughs> I'm being a dick because I didn't get my way. God bless you. Just God that. bless you. Uh, but if you really like R and B music, first of all, they're not different categories. 
Robert Glasper's making R and B music. No, Chris is what it is. Chris's music be sounding way more pop than it does R and B here lately. Okay. That is I, what I, where I would say, yeah, they're really not the same. Oh, category. so Chris should have been in a different category. Is what you're saying? Yes. Maybe they should have been in the same category. Yeah, he. But Robert Glasper should have been in that category. Oh, he is. Because who else was in that nomination? Uh, that's a good question, Josh. I want to say Corey Henry was in there. Let me check. Uh, R and B album. Yeah, uh, P J Morton was in there. P J was in there. I seen him on the TV. Was her in there? No. I don't think she released anything this year. I don't think so. Did she drop? No, it wasn't. It wasn't her. I'm trying to. I saw her on a different, in a different category, like house music or something. That she was a like guest vocalist. Oh, they said uh, Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige got nominated for album of the year, by the way. Well, congrats to her. I actually liked a couple of the songs on hers. Oh my god, these articles be having entirely too many things. I just want to look for the one thing. That's the R and B. Yeah. Progressive R and B. Okay, Steve Lacey won that. I like Steve Lacey. And when you, I do too. When you look at the whole list, you realize just how many things are not televised. There's way more things. Yeah, there's on there than I realized. I was like, God, dog, yeah, Americana. Gospel, some sort of gospel genre. I gospel don't ever be on TV. I think. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, they like don't nobody care about y'all. Get, get your little Jesus out of here. Get your um, little Jesus. Get your little Jesus out of here. Okay, R and B. I'm sorry, enjoy me. Go, go 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 ahead. Best R and B album was Good Morning, Gorgeous, Mary J, Breezy, Chris Brown, Robert Glasper, Black Radio Three, Candy Drip by Lucky Day, and Watch the Sun by P J the Mortons. Um, I think. Because they love the word urban so much. Oh Chris God. should be considered like urban pop. That's but who else would be in that category? Do you have enough to make a full category? Oh, absolutely. I would put Rihanna over there. I would never put her. I would rarely put what she has did in make the past. Make me up. <laughs> if people are like, if she starts the Super Bowl with that, I'm going to just turn the whole thing off. <laughs> I've seen a lot of TikToks like that. I will cry on cue. <laughs> If she sings that. <laughs> I, I was telling Kevin because he kept crying over um, uh, uh, not pink and white. Uh, Godspeed. Godspeed. By Frank Ocean. Godspeed. Let me play it again see how, no, how well I'm doing. Kevin, I, Let me see how I'm doing. I will strangle you with my wig. Um, <laughs> I'm two for two on the cry. I told Kevin, I said, listen, that was Brianna's lift me up at my niece's wake at her uh, v- viewing. They played... Let me uh, 40 million times Also with uh, What's her name? LaShondra LaShondra What's her name? Leandria There you go You got it Leandria singing uh, Deliver me Oh yeah I said Turn it off (laughs) I said I don't want to hear it no more Turn it off Along with the slideshow Of my niece (laughs) We got her over here dead over there in the corner. We got the slideshow and bled me up. Oh, you it like that. Down. That's how she sounds, Kevin. It does not. Yes, she does. She didn't even stack that. She said one take home. Like don't. Uh, not that song. I was, it made me so mad. Why? I was just so frustrated because I was like, it's, it's so sad. Real quick, I need to take a quick break. I gotta. I forgot to take my multivitamin, which by the way is by Ritual. <laughs> hey, I love Ritual. Yes. Friend of the pod. They are so Every good at transitions. Wow. A That's why we invited you. I'm the pooper. Well, Kevin is too. Kevin be pooping. Oh, if be pooping. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, yes, we're about to talk about poop with Ritual Symbiotic Plus, a three-in-one clinical study, prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic designed to help you support a balanced gut microbiome. We're spilling all the beans and eating them too. There's no more shame in your gut game. Um, like I said, I actually honestly, after we finish this ad, I'm about to take my ritual. These are my vitamin, multivitamin of choice. I use their women's, um, their 
uh, 18 plus uh, vitamins. She did not and take their that. their symbiotic medicine. plus is also just uh, an amazing, an amazing thing for your uh, gut health. There are so many things that take place in your gut that affects your health. Making sure that your gut is in the best shape possible as far as in health, the, the, the good bacteria, bad bacteria, all of that is more important than most people realize. And this is why I like using Ritual because they taking care of all of it. And my poop, you know, it be doing what it need to do. Daily three-in-one prebiotic, probi- po- um, excuse me, prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic with two of the world's most Tongue studied twister. probiotic strains to support the relief of mild and occasional digestive discomforts like bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Why include a postbiotic? It provides fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and supports a healthy gut barrier. Win-win. Is all is all in one single nested minty capsule, no refrigeration needed, so it's easy to take with you when you travel. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate and not hide your insides. It's time to listen to your gut. Ritual is offering our listeners ten percent off during your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash crew with the K. Crew with a K. To start ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today. Visit ritual.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. To start your ritual or start Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today. She did not take All the right. pill. Final thing on the Grammys. She did not the take Final little thoughts. Okay, okay, okay. One. My home She did, girl, she did, she did. Bonnie Raitt. One song of the year. Now I ain't gonna hold you. I had to look this up. I didn't really know the difference difference between song of okay, the year she did. and record of the year. It's right in it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So song of the year you highlights the uh, composition yeah. of a song, basically the songwriters. Record of the year uh, is the performance and the engineering of it. So I believe Bonnie Raitt won for song of the year, and friend of the pod Lizzo won for record of the year. Wood record, which one? Uh, cinnamon, yeah. I'm gonna need a cinnamon oil. My yeah. woman, the pump me wood. Bonnie Raitt was so surprised that she won that song. She went up there like she didn't know she made music. <laughs> she went up there like, who is Bonnie Raitt? Ooh. Turn down the lights? Turn turn down the lights, Bonnie Raitt? She's like, now come on now. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who? Also, Keisha Cole, uh, hair is, is like Bonnie Raitt. Same idea. They got the red with the little... A white, a little white at the front. Yeah. Uh, but Bonnie Raitt's genuine confusion that she won that thing was so funny to me. How old is Bonnie now? Bonnie Raitt, she is mm. got to be seventy three. Bonnie, how old he is? Your cute there. little self. She, Bonnie, oh, hey, seventy three. I got it on the on the I note. Know, I for, I know we just talked about Smokey, but I forgot he was like actually eighty two until I saw him perform. I was Gasms? like, mm. yeah, he every the time you say, you think you can even? Have, are people orgasm like that? Eighty two. I think a man can bust a note. It, it, it bust a note. Mm-hmm. Uh, all type of bust a note. It can bust a note. I don't, I don't even know how excited I'll be about sex at eighty two. Right now, I think I'll be excited because I love sex now, but I'm I'm thirty nine. 40 more years of sex? I think you'll be confused like Bonnie Raitt when you Who's get in it. <laughs> you'll be like, am I in one? <laughs> am I supposed to be? I was leave nominated it, leave for it. this, huh? <laughs> That's what you're going to be like. <laughs> now, when uh, Harry Styles won album of the year, all right, to be honest, I didn't think Beyonce had a chance at winning album of the year. I was rooting for her because she hasn't won album of the year, but I didn't think she would. Angel also said that she thought... Uh, the album was too um, niche. Niche. Yeah. I for sure, one hundred percent, thought Bad Bunny was winning album of the year though. Bad when Bunny. Harry Styles that's, won. That's just as niche though. True, but but it Bad said, Bunny is it a global phenomenon. English speaking language. Oh, well, then this on that yeah, but, uh, you lost Be- me already. Beck Beck won a couple years ago. That's niche. Oh, I play every instrument. I'm Beck. But okay. I mean, the thing about Harry Styles can win because I didn't listen to his album, right? So I'm making the same claim. What made me mad that Harry said when they call Harry up there, how could this? Ha- I didn't believe this could happen to somebody like me, a white man. Yeah, that's a little. Confusing. Sir, that's a little confusing. This happens to people like you more All than anybody time. else. Yeah. that's what made me mad. If he would, if he would have had Bonnie Raitt's thing, like even if it was fake. 
Me with Beyonce and Lizzo and Mary J. Blige and Bad Bunny, all these, I don't feel worthy. If you go up with I don't feel worthy, I could always be with you. But to say the opposite I don't feel worthy is, how could this happen to somebody like me? John Batiste can say that. John Batiste won last year. He's a black man. Yeah, yeah, I love him. John, John Batiste, Batiste can say, I ain't think this was going to happen to me. Harry wow. Styles, boy, if you ain't, this is, them, them is your people. He is for this. colonizer. This is you. This <laughs> your, of course I, it can happen to somebody like I you. I think he definitely should have just been proud and been like, I am so happy. I wanted this. You can even do that. <laughs> thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Grammys. I but, wouldn't even been if, if he said that, Angel, I can't hold you. Right. I ain't going to be on there and be like, I didn't want to win. I'm right. competitive. I'm sure Harry is, too. But that's like an NBA player winning MVP and be like, who could a black player? This don't usually happen to us. <laughs> a black man winning MVP in the NBA. How could this happen to some nigga? Yeah. This, that's what y'all do. Now, white male, not Luca. I'm talking about like. A regular, a regular white yeah. dude be like, I ain't think I could beat LeBron and and these people. But Harry, you is white, you is you is straight, you is British. Boy, like, y'all clean I up. Be like, do you remember <laughs> this group called the Beatles? Bruh, it be happening. One it direction that he came from. <laughs> One direction. Just, I'm saying it's like the same thing. Like this is not it's not a phenomenon. Is him being British? The the way boys bands have went out of out of style until One Direction came back, brought yep. the brought, well, brought they were the only ones in style, and then you were the solo. <coughs> have you heard of Justin Timberlake? Duh. This happens all of the time. Quick Harry. story of Justin Timberlake, quick, quick, and also I don't know if Harry Styles is <coughs> he might not be, but he is he's a white male. That part I do know. So here's the thing that I think was interesting about Justin Timberlake. I was in the car with my son the other day, mm-hmm. and I played um, 2020 Experience, because I hadn't heard it in a while. 2020. And I was like, oh, let me hit this 2020 Experience up. It's a good time. Mm-hmm. Zay Zay goes, oh, man, I'm feeling a lot of nostalgia right now. This album reminds me of our first apartment in L.A. And I'm like, hold on, what wow. now? He was like, yeah, when we first moved here, you, that's when the album came out, 2013. Uh, and just came out, but we had been listening to it a lot. Mm. And I'm like, hold on. You was at the age where you albums are dated for you. That's mm. crazy. A Justin Timberlake the album reminds you nostalgia. Nigga, you nostalgia. are not the what? <laughs> you are nostalgia. <laughs> right. You remind me of when I was young. How you have enough memories to have a time exactly. with you? Were, but legit, at, as high school junior, you are at the age where you can. Oh, when I was little, you are always present day. Sir. You are. There is no past. You are. Always present day. Hush that noise. 2020 was his reminder of the year 2013. Ain't that crazy? Parenthood has a wild way. So like strawberry bubblegum is an oldie for him? Strawberry bubblegum reminds him of his childhood. in 2013? 2013? He was 19. That's 10 years ago. He was 19. Damn. Aren't you 29? Oh, was it? <laughs> wow. He wasn't even 19 yet. Because he don't no, turn. He's well, no, because you turn. You he turn, turn, he turn 30. 30. 30. Yeah. Oh, my and God. And when he said it, he said it so matter of factly. He wasn't even, because they like to mess with me about getting older. But I have not listened to that album with him. In, I haven't listened to that album in a while. Just, you know, as you buy new albums, the other ones get pushed down. So I haven't, I tend to listen to newer albums. And I was like, man, let me run this back. He was like, ah. He literally did it like, I remember the day. <laughs> like how I felt when, um, let me see, what came out when I was 93? Mm, I can't remember the album top, but I remember when, like when Outcast came out. Mm-hmm. I believe it was 96, me and you, maybe 95. Yo, your mama and your cousins too. Is that 95, 96? Rolling down the strip, oh, oh, six something uh, up. Like, that was me and my best friend have a handshake to that. So when I was in North Carolina at the time, all the high school bands were playing that. Mm-hmm. So anytime I, re- I hear that, I'm instantly transported back to that time mm-hmm. of my life. Mm-hmm. It's uh, That was 94? <coughs> no. no. That could have been 94. No. Had to be 96. Me and Nina weren't best friends at that time yet. 
94. <laughs> like, we do a whole, it's almost like First of all, that song's called um, Elevators, and I forget that every time. 29 years. Because black old. people call the song what they yeah, what they listen to. Yeah, July 9th, 1996. To... Go ahead, Kev. You know Outkast. Also, did you know that Outkast was 19 when they released their first album? They were grown ass wow. men. I don't care what nobody say. Duh. I don't care. Let me tell you, anything <laughs> I used to watch, this is what's crazy. Anything I used to watch as a younger child, I can't believe I'm older than those characters now. I'm like, no. If li- living single, they were in their 50s. There's Had no way. Be. There's no way they are younger than the age that Had I am now. to be 55, 54, yeah. 54, 56. Absolutely. What you mean that was early? Tisha Campbell, when she was in Martin, was like 23, I believe. No, nope. she was 55. <laughs> Wow. There is no way they were younger than what I am now. That's period. I don't care. I do not care what anybody says. They do not get to be younger than what I am now. Period. I have that same thought. It's crazy. I also, LeBron James is younger than me now. Yes. Jonathan Majors, we can talk about it now. We the same age. He's 33, right? Yep, my age too. So me and Angel got yeah, nominated. Nominated. Me. We got invited <laughs> to uh the world premiere. To world of premiere. Quantumania. <laughs> so, so funny. Me and Melissa were talking about this morning. Because I was telling her, I'll tell y'all the whole story real quick. This part's funny. I was telling her who was there. And I was like, yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer and Michael Douglas didn't come. She was like, oh, I'm sure they'll be at the, the world premiere. I mean the real premiere. I was like, listen, that was the real premiere. She's like, that was the real. I was like, that was the real. She's like, and they didn't come. I said, the people is old. They is old. Michelle Pfeiffer, like, I done been to enough uh, movie premiere. I wait, are you older than she was at Catwoman? And uh, no, there's no way. Mm-hmm. There's no way. Right? Period. It's How old is Michelle happening. Pfeiffer? hundred. Is she seventy? We saw Bill Murray. How he old is Michelle Pfeiffer? You look like live me up. <laughs> She's 64. Oh, he no. looked every bit of 719 years <laughs> old. Michelle, like, Michelle Fiverr is 64. Okay, oh, she's yeah. 64. Wow. She's that woman came out mother. in... Okay, so she's born in 58. Catwoman came out in what, 92? She does look good in the movie, but she also looks old. I was 12. Oh, no, she played Catwoman in 92. Okay, 92. She's 58. You guys who are good at quick maths. 64. Michelle Fiverr born in 1958. 31 that... years ago. Huh? Ninety two, it was Catwoman. Ninety two, Catwoman. So, How was she when that came out? Thirty two. No way. She's sixty four. I was like, I don't remember how old ah! she said she was. So I was younger than uh, she. She was older than me, is what I was saying. Uh, yeah. So listen, this is how the invitation happened. Yeah, tell him, Angel. I got a text from my agent, and he was like, "Oh, so you and Jonathan Majors are friends now?" And I was like. What? He must be talking about Major. This is why I love you. I said, "Uh uh-uh, no, you must be thinking of my friend Major. He's very different than Jonathan Major. (laughs) They just have similar names. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's not the same. Well, then I finally checked my email, and it says, Jonathan Majors would like to invite Angel Moore to the premiere of his Mm. new film, Quantumania, if she's in town. And I was like... What is happening? They right. were like red carpet experience, yada yada yada. And I was like, huh? I was like, how is this happening? And then I was like, Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> did you get invited to a Marvel premiere? And he was like, yes, I did. Did you? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and so Kevin is trying to figure out why is it saying Jonathan Majors invited. Us. That's what I the, the question of the day, Angel. <laughs> yes. Why is it saying? Because the email even says, "Sorry, it took so long. Jonathan just got us his list because he's been doing a press tour." Because tell him how it usually goes when we get invited to stuff. When we get invited to stuff, they be like, "Uh, there's a screening plus two. Is <laughs> you plus one?" It's the the the, the multicultural marketing yeah. agency. Right. Yeah. Down represents in, the movie, right. you're not mm-hmm. the Hollywood one. You're not going, the you're person. Going to IP, the the I pick. Yeah, it's not a premiere. On, it's, on a it's a screening. It's a screening. It's not the premiere. premiere. Then people don't be there most of the time. Oh no. Uh, but it usually comes from an agency, yeah. not from the. I have never. We went to the Bel Air. Me and went to the Bel Air premiere. Whoever, Allied Moxie, Market, whoever the black agency that got that account, yeah. who's the blacks? Kevin, Angel, who's available, whatever. Yeah. They get a certain amount of passes. Right. Jabari Smith or Will Smith, they don't say, oh, I want Kev to come. 
It, so it, I didn't, it, we didn't tell him how I didn't believe even when we was wait, up in there, wait, Angel. Wait, 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 hold on. I'm tell okay, tell me the opposite. So even, <laughs> I, I, I'm looking at the email, and they even have my agent's name in the dear. It's not to whom this may concern. It says, hey, Joe and Daniela. Mm-hmm. Jonathan wants to, I was like, this feels real personal. Like, right. they, they could have been like, hi, folks. Is Angel available? But yeah. they're like, we know you, her people. So we get there. Kevin's already there. He didn't take in his pictures. He's been his dapper dab, uh, Dave self. I take pictures. We talking to folks. I was Angel's cameraman. Yeah, he was like, I I'm was acting record. as a publicist. Tell He's him what like, I said, Angel, and you corrected me. <laughs> <laughs> He, he's trying to get me on the red carpet. He was like, can um, can my homegirl do red carpet? She's, she's the co-host of the podcast I do. I said, I am a cast member of HBO's Black Lady Sketch Show. And he First was like, and foremost. He was like, yep. Because <laughs> the lady who was running was black. So I figured I'm going to go, because she had just let me on. Like, you get my homegirl in. You know, black folks. It's like when you work at Popeye's, let me get like two yeah, biscuits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Angel was like, and then I was like, oh, but Angel has IMDb, so, <laughs> I was so like, much IMDb. I'm on H. I, I went homegirl route when, when IMDb. Homegirl don't have to work when the regular stuff is good. I was like, <laughs> uh, the fact that we got to explain. So we do a podcast. It's, here's the thing. It's typical black culture. <laughs> Can we just cut to the chase? I'm on HBO. Uh, so we do the carpet. We're about to go in. We still trying to figure out. Well, he's like, did no, he keeps saying, Jonathan did not invite us. I said, Jonathan invited us, Kevin. I said, either his assistant watches this show or his publicist, somebody close to him, mm-hmm. if not him, That's what she starts saying. watches, here's the thing. So here's what, Jonathan had two rows, Josh. Mm-hmm. He had a row behind us and the row me and Angel on. Me and Angel is in the very end of the row. We come in early. You, we <laughs> order, we've been, like on our, <laughs> we've been on our feet for a minute. We went and sat down. Yeah. We got good seats, too. Good seats. Very good seats. It's we crazy. were like, because the TikTok people was in another row. I, usually, we would be with the influencers. Right. They didn't put us with the influencers. Mm-hmm. No, not the influencers. I said, oh, we, okay. Okay, this is the most <coughs> black people is right here. Yeah. Your boy from Top Gun, who is in the movie with Jonathan, Mc, Jonathan McReynolds. Jonathan McReynolds. Jonathan Majors. Majors. The other, the flight movie. Uh, Jay Ellis. Top- no, no, the white boy. Glenn Howerton. Rooster. Oh, Glenn no. Howard. No, not Glenn Howard too. White dude, blonde hair, in the movie from Top Gun. Yeah, he Rooster. in Top Gun. Angel, we doing our, we doing uh, taboo. Y- you know I don't know this white boy's name. <sighs> Top Gun, Top Gun, John, Paul, James, not Chris. Glenn Howerton. Glenn Howerton is from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Glenn Powell. Mm. Glenn Powell. No, I was never going to know his name. Glenn Powell come down with Rachel Lindsay. Well, Rachel she Lindsay. She was on the on the Bachelor. She's the first black Bachelorette. So when they asked us to sit down, I said. Okay, now that's his boy. Okay, because they in that other movie together. I don't know what it is. It's a plain movie where he's black and he's white. And then there was three niggas behind us. And regular niggas who dapped us up on the outside. Hey, how you doing? So, this is no hyperbole. Jonathan Majors comes in on swole. Mm-hmm. Suit <laughs> barely yes. hanging on. Yes. yes. I kid you not, Josh and Angel, tell him if I'm lying. Jonathan Majors sat down. He, now, first he come down to our row. Thank y'all for coming. Goes back to the row. He's sitting down. Thank y'all for coming. He sits down. The movie starts. Paul Rudd was already in there. Yeah. When Jonathan Major sat, I'm talking about butt to seat, the lights went down. He sat next to y'all? No. no. Oh. So he was the way it's situated, the way it's situated, okay, <laughs> it's three sections. <laughs> Left section, center section, right section. We in row L all the way. I have the aisle seat that's against the wall. Oh. He has the aisle seat that's in the center, the center you aisle. Got it. So there's a split down the middle. There's two split because there's a two whole splits. section in the middle. Got so it. we're in this section. He's on the aisle seat in the middle. We're on the aisle seat okay. on the side. But we're same aisle though, or same row. He's the row behind us. Okay. But this is how I know. He's as far as us. So from us near, as far. near row, near aisle. He was closer to the other people but in the this middle. Is, this is how we knew for real that he had invited us. The niggas behind us. He was talking to. Yes. He stood up and he was like, "Hey, you do it, uh, uh, and they were like, "Yeah, I don't it." And da da And I was like, "Jonathan." <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> Black Lady Sketch Show. <laughs> I was like, I was I wanted to be like, why you ask us to come? I, I wanted to know. So he left right when the movie ended. Of course, I mean, you want to get stuck, and he was gone. I just want to know why. DM I tried him. to get his attention, and you were like, Angel. I was like, kept DM him. He has he no, social, no media. social media. No, None. 
Damn. You know I went nah, that route. He, he got a fence though. Has to have a fence. For though. sure has a fence though. So on that fence to know, I so bumped into probably, William okay, William Jackson ahead. Harper. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay? he is. He's from the good place. He's from Love Life season two. I dap him up because you know after Nipsey passed, and I told Nipsey I I, I did head nod. But after he passed, I said, anytime I see somebody whose work I love, I'm going to say, I appreciate your work. You ain't got to get a picture. Mm-hmm. Just want to say hello. But you got a picture. I said, William Jackson Hopper, love your work. Man, I love you, Kev. I watch your stuff. I check Instagram. He don't follow. But they be having them fenced. They got mad fences. They got fences because they can't be caught watching. But um, he knew who we was. Mm-hmm. So I think Jonathan Major probably got a fenster so they can watch and laugh and be free. Now, Rihanna commented regular. And she sent me some Savage Fenty, too. Yeah. For the Super Bowl. And I'm going to make her a little real about it that day. But Jonathan Majors, he ain't got no public thing because I wanted to be like, what did you watch oh, yeah. with me and Angel? It had to be Here's the Thing. Oh, obviously. That's it had to, could be. Maybe when he was getting his muscles, he was like. I, I think he likes to laugh. What if Jonathan Majors is getting super strong and he's like, bangers, 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 <laughs> all 2022. <laughs> what if he's in the Patreon? <laughs> it might be. Jonathan, single me out, John. <laughs> This is Kev. Don't don't reveal yourself, but reveal yourself just via DM. <laughs> reveal yourself. Boy, don't if comment you don't publicly. Have, if don't you don't have no public, I'll never find you. Jonathan, find me an angel one You're more time. One more time. About to get and just tell us how. Go through our agency and our people. Yeah. But tell us one more time. And when you need to promote a movie, <laughs> read or... It's we'll be there. You could come here. You could sit right here. Right. <laughs> you can sit in my chair. You can sit in my lap. <laughs> Hold on, guys. He might not want to do this, though. That, that might be what this, this whole thing of why he's, he's a recluse. <laughs> Listen, I do whatever it takes. This Did you see the ebony cover with Jonathan? You know I saw it. I said, <laughs> this is black history. This is my ancestors proud. Listen. The strength. This nigga, Jonathan Majors. You should redo the cover. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Your last vote campaign. Yeah. He had his little hand, and he was just... Let me tell you what. Like to be muscular sitting down, my best shot at looking good is black shirt standing up and looking at me straight. Muscular sitting. I would have to. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> you have to be hanging upside down. Yes, to make sure everything's stretched out. Because when I'm sitting down, the belly ain't got nowhere to go, Angel. <laughs> It be compressed on itself. Right, that's why you got to elongate, Kevin. And listen, I was taking some pictures of the NAACP. I be forgetting to suck in. Mm-hmm. When I had that white shirt on, I said, that's it, baby. That's that belly. <laughs> I said, somebody tied me the picture. I said, ooh, Kevin. You got to hold your breath, that's man. it, ain't it? I just be, and that belly be like, NAACP, Kevin. <laughs> we out Kevin, yeah, I'm right there with you. I just be tummied out. I be like, listen, well. Listen, when that <laughs> meal ended, me and Angel walked through the party. It was, it was like, y'all, they got pizza in there. We was like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> we going to have the pizza. And then I was real good. <laughs> they had more food outside. I was like, Kevin, I'm getting all this food. <laughs> she had a, she had a uh, impossible meatball. meatball. She had a shrimp. It was some I fried. had chicken uh, skewers. <laughs> yeah, we walked in there. She had, just yeah, said, she had 50 shades of meat. She oh, yeah. Said, ooh, Kevin, they got fries. No, no, that's the start of it. They had regular in steak fries. I had a whole plate. Angel up had out of there. wine. I had a root beer. I'm talking about we had pizza. Yes, we it did. wasn't because I was hungry for real. They had they had bought out of BJ's. Yeah, bought out, bought out yeah. of BJ's. All the pizza you could eat, mm-hmm. salad, hummus, and they, and pizza they too. did Josh. heavy pours of wine. They it was like they poured this much wine into a glass, uh-huh. and I was like, well. The only reason I didn't eat right. more is because Melissa had sauce and beer at home. And I was like, I don't want to spoil my appetite because I like sauce and beer, and we don't get it that much anymore. I knew Marcus had a salad waiting for me, and he did. But I was full from that whole plate of food I had. It was great. And Angel, Josh, tell Angel when she gets invited to world premieres not to drive her own car. Angel said, I don't parked at the hospital. I I said, why are you walking? She's like, Kev, I'll be there in seven. (laughs) So Angel texted me before. She said, how far away from you are you from the place? I said, seven minutes. She said, cool, I'm seven minutes too. Plus 30. <laughs> give, me 30 give me 37 minutes and I'm going to be pulling up. I said, Angel, you a star. They invite you I'm to I'm not the, the star of that movie. And then, so I'm not going to spend a whole I, bunch of money. You a star of who you are. Yes, and this star of who I am is going to spend money on her premiere. Angel parked at the hospital. I surely did. It made Africa drop me off. Well, I she said, was like, when she got in the car with me, like, Kevin, tell him drop me off right over Kevin, here. I said, Africa will drop me off at the car. He said, he is. I said, yes. Got right up in the car. <laughs> you think I'm about to walk by myself? 
You think you're going to make it home to your dog being alive? I'd call Marcus and be like, Kevin left me out here <laughs> in these streets. He'd be like, all right. One time on, I was not, uh, what's that word? I wasn't a good protector of black women. We got one more ad, huh? Mm-hmm. We have another yeah. ad? Yeah, we do. Wow. I thought we was done with this. Yeah, I forgot. We got another ad. Is it time? Yeah, you can do it. There's no way around it. Credit scores are boring. Even so, they determine whether you get a sick credit card or a good loan for a home and if you qualify a new apartment or not. Kickoff makes it easy to put credit building on autopilot so you can spend your time doing whatever you want. With my own credit journey, truly, I didn't know much about it. I still remember how I got my first uh, bad piece of credit was when... um, I had a credit card in college for my pager, and I let that thing go to collections. So ever since then, I was like, I'm Angel, you got to do better. You got to build your credit. So doing things like paying my bills on time, making sure my debt-to-income ratio was low, these are all things that I really worked hard on so that we were able to purchase the homes that we've had in California, which is not easy. And to be able to have vehicles that are safe for us to be able to drive our kids around. So me working on my credit has been very intentional and something that I had to learn along the way. Well, plans with kickoff start at just $5 a month and every on-time payment you make with kickoff is reported to the major credit bureaus. When they see healthy habits, you see happier credit scores. You can even set it to auto pay so you can build credit without even thinking about it. Kickoff has also been praised by big time names like Forbes and NerdWallet as a smart way to build credit fast. With a 9.5 out of 5, excuse me, with a 9.9 out of 5 wow. rating in the App Store and over 44,000 rave reviews, you can trust Kickoff to help you get ahead. It's time to take control of your credit so it can't control you. So, what are you waiting for? Apply right now in minutes at kickoff.com to start building better credit. That's K-I-K-O-F-F dot com to build your credit score without the lift. Start today at kickoff dot com. You gonna tell the story? Oh, what story was it? I forgot. Yeah. With the black woman. I lost. We, I was were, lost. Uh, we were finishing talking about Angel getting picked up from the ah, premiere to get dropped out. Uh, my homegirl Shari and Sharice were visiting us in my life. I was dropping them back off. They were staying in Hollywood. Uh, I don't remember why Melissa wasn't with me. But I was trying to get home to Melissa. And um, I dropped him off in the parking lot. And, oh, I, you're wild you and, you just and I didn't even wait for them to get in the car. I was like, skirt. Push, push. Bye, bye. And I was up on Highland, well, up the 101. And then when I got in the car and I got home, I checked my text message. They text Melissa and was like, damn, your husband don't even, he didn't even let us get in the car good before he left. And I was like, Oh, wow. You're right. Yeah, Kevin didn't check to yeah. see if I got in the car, but they did drive me to it. I did. I, you're right. I know. I, I don't know where your car was. It was, it was close. To, I felt uh, that. Yeah. I, I stayed. We, we pulled around, no. and I had binoculars. No, y'all it's, definitely. A Del, it's a Delta Road one. And I was going to text to be like, I made it home, but I said, Kevin don't care. I, I care. I ripped apart by coyotes. I, I care. <laughs> Also, I saw this tweet, Angel. It was really funny. I'm going to share it with you. It's not on the docket. It just, somebody caught me. This girl tweeted, I'm not touching the latest friendship topics, but did y'all know men love using their wives as excuses for not hanging out? I was wondering why in the early years of marriage, people thought I had a leash on this nigga until I figured out that he was using me as a scapegoat. I wouldn't be surprised if you're also, another tweet, I wouldn't be surprised if you're also using your kids for not showing up instead of being honest about why you don't want to go. And I saw this, and I say this as a mom who understands how hard it is to find child care. The secret's out. And this is what she don't need to understand. It ain't even, you don't always ask your wife to go and then say she said no if that's not true. Much like the guy who asked his wife for sex 28 times in six weeks and was turned down 25 times. Here's what you got to know. You got to know when it's a no without asking. Mm. Right? Yeah. You know, if I know I ain't been like from the sex thing. If we ain't been vibing or whatever the thing is, or someday she's tired or cooked late or had a lot, I know I'm probably not going to get no butt that day. Mm-hmm. So I don't even ask. I said, okay, I'm going to try tomorrow or Tuesday or maybe Friday evening. You ask him. First of all, he was asking for sex like every day. Like literally every day. Like, Can I have sex? No. Can I have sex? No. Like 28 times to ask in six weeks. Anytime you're only getting one out of every 10 times, it's too much. But to this woman's point, Take Kev, for example. That's me. I've been on tour. 
since I believe October, so we're already in our third or fourth uh, month, going to our fifth month. If I know I've been on the road, and I know I started acting classes, and I know I picked my son up, and my wife is shooting, and we ain't been able to spend a lot of time together, and you ask me to hang out, it's not that I'm going to ask her, like, hey, you mind if I go? I already know I got to build that time back up. Mm-hmm. So I don't, yeah. it's not me asking her and her saying, no, it ain't like my wife said I can't go. It's like, out of respect to this relationship that means a lot to me, I need to replenish that time. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. So when I tell you, ah, oh, bro, I can't go now, but when I tell you that, I'm going to be like, man, I, I usually just say, I got to spend time with the family. Mm-hmm. Right? I haven't been able to spend time with my wife or my kids. Like, I be trying to be a good husband, mm-hmm. which requires a certain amount of time. A good father, which requires a certain amount of time that is separate from the good husband time, mm-hmm. right? You got to show up at the basketball games, pick them up from soccer, whatever that is. Then I be trying to, I got to be a content creator, separate set of time. And yeah. then trying to make our way in Hollywood, you got to do that. You got to go to the Jonathan Major premieres, which also is dope. But that's, I was away from home picking up some shoes, gone all night. Like, there's a lot of fire, different the parts way. of life. Huh? Good fire, by the way. Thank you. Mm, I like them. But I didn't have no shoes. So the time I could have been with my wife, I had to go pick up shoes. And then I had to leave those premier, that premiere. And it's not just, and for context on picking up shoes in L.A., it's not, you can't just go to the store that's 10 minutes away. It's, no. you're leaving the house for an one to two hours minimum. Yes. Trying to move around. Yeah. And I also wow. had, a, I had a meeting, a lunch meeting, networking. In person? In person. Wow. <clears throat> now, y'all know I don't do that. So I'm trying to do all my stuff. So... It, it, it's harder to find time with me. This is not for all, man. This is just with me to just hang out. Mm-hmm. Hanging out for me is easier when we can hang out as a group. If you marry, you and your wife can come over. We can go to lunch. We can have game night. Those things are much easier. But just me and you, because now when I come home, I'm like, okay, well, now I've been out hanging out and I, I ain't been at home. Then I'll be like, if I wasn't on tour, this would be different. Mm-hmm. Right? But I'm on tour. I'm gone for half the weekend, half, half the week. The whole weekend, I got to be, I got to replenish now. Mm-hmm. Now leave me alone about it. Uh, do we like the movie? I don't think we can talk about the movie yet. Mm, I wouldn't. I'm not going to say nothing because I want them to invite me more. But I would say Jonathan Majors is an amazing actor and everybody was great. And everything. Say, especially if Jonathan Majors is watching. Talk about the movie. I think we can, wait a minute, hold on. Well, it ain't out, so I don't want to spoil nothing. Yeah. No, no spoilers, but I... Mm. I didn't Don't enjoy say anything. Of movies. I, um, I was tired. Angel was. Oh wow! No, going way. through mm-hmm. it. Oh no! She was slap happy. She was doing this to keep herself away. Whew! <laughs> Literally clapping. Oh no! I was super duper 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 tired. She's like, Kevin, you got some candy?" I was like, "I have nothing in my candy, pocket." Got gum. We came out of there. I was like, "Oh my god!" I know it is. When we got out of the movie theaters, I was like, "It's eleven thirty. I looked at the thing as we're sitting there. We've got our pizza now. We've got our wine. We've gone through a line. We've taken pictures. We've done all of this." And I'm looking, I'm like, oh, God, it's probably close to midnight. It was 9.35. Dang. Poor angel. I was struggling. I am still trying to catch up on sleep. I have been a matron of honor for the past I don't know how long. I am tired. Glad you reminded me of that. That was a story (laughs) that I cannot find in the docket. I'm like, I know I put this in. Angel, please tell the people what happened and why you're on the shade room. Please tell them folks that. This is what I've been scrolling through, and it didn't update. Oh, God. So, I uh, got to, uh, was honored to be the matron of honor at my little sister's um, wedding. Brisha Webb, now Brisha Jones, was married this Saturday. Brisha's the Jones? That yeah, we still going by Brisha Web professional. Okay, because the Brisha of the Web is great. Yeah, it's, it's it's always great. So as we are trying to get our beautiful bride to the actual ceremony, the ceremony was held at the Beverly Hills Hotel. We're walking through the hallways, and she's in her dress. I'm in. Uh, we're all dressed. The bridesmaids are me, Essence Atkins. Um, Zula Hanyo, one of her other very best friends, Victor, he was her man of honor, and um, Kelly Rowland, and Jessica, a, a long-term friend of hers. So we're going down the hallway. I see Deborah Cox down the hallway. Deborah Cox sees Essence. Her and Essence know each other. Essence is like, oh, my God, Deborah, I want you to meet Brisha. She pulls, she's pulling Brisha to her. 
I my phone is already now recording. Somehow mm-hmm. the Lord was like, move your, <laughs> move your thumb over. And Bri- I was like, Brisha, that's Deborah Cox. See if she's got anything to do today. Maybe she can just go ahead and sing, right? <laughs> and then Brisha goes, is that Deborah Cox? I said, girl, that's what I said. And I'm recording. And I lift it up. Deborah Cox, before she even gets over to Brisha, is like, how did he get here? <laughs> right? And I was like, nobody's ready, right? <laughs> I'm recording. And I'm like, oh, my God. It's Deborah Cox. I sing maybe three words with her at the she beginning. She said nobody's supposed to be here. Yeah, I think I said. And you sound all right with yeah, her. Yeah, I said nobody's supposed to be here. Then I allow her to sing, right? And then she gets to, um, uh, long and change my mind. My. I go, my mind. Kelly Rowland goes, my mind. I'm like, ah, that's actually right. It happens. <clears throat> I post it on mine. Risha posts it on hers. The Shade Room grabs hers, reposts it. Majority of the comments are either talking about the Nike uh, Trek suit that uh, <laughs> she was so she looked so regular in her Trek fit. The Deborah Cox had on, or they were like, "That cameraman needs to shut the f- up." <laughs> <laughs> they were like, when a great person is singing, you need to shut up. You are ruining the moment, bitch. So I was like, "Well, when your dusty ass, I didn't say that best friend gets." Sang to by Deborah Cox in the hallway. You don't sing. But when my best friend gets sang to, I'm going to sing along. They were like, you ruined the moment. Don't look like it to me. This was not your moment. Yeah, it was. (laughs) (laughs) Then it was my camera. I was the only person who had enough sense to record it because it was all just going to be in everybody's memory. Had I not recorded it. Had you not recorded it. And this is the crazy thing about it, right? They're watching it on the shade room. I didn't. This didn't even click when you told me this. And Angel, Angel said way more times how many people cussed at her. And it was the funniest to me. It was hilarious. They were going off. The shade room does not create content. No. They curate content at best. Mm-hmm. Other people would say they take content. Yes. Right. They, they don't generate hardly any of their any, own content. Yeah. So. You are watching Angel's video that was posted on Angel's Instagram, which is meant to share with Angel's friends and followers. Yeah. Y'all getting on the shade room ain't Angel's friends or followers. At all. Right? If Listen, if it was me, Kevin, and I don't even have your voice, there's no way. I ain't singing with Deborah. This I said, I, this is a ninety. <laughs> right. You better be glad she didn't get to no, 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 no. Cause I would have no. been come on. I would have <laughs> turned it around on me. Look at me, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. You heard enough of Deborah. Yes. Listen to her version if you want to hear it. Who don't sing along to Deborah Cox? I I'm not able to not sing with her. 90s. <laughs> Epic ballads are not meant to be listened to. No. They're meant to be screamed to. And you know, like, that's how you appreciate them. Yeah. Because you hear how you sound, and you hear how they sound, uh-huh. and in your mind, you sound together as one. <laughs> that's what, listen, the, the toxicness didn't just stay at the shave room. Under one of, under Breach's post, somebody was like, you think you sounded better than what you did, but your voice is subpar. Oh! <laughs> oh, dang! I have never laughed so hard at the <laughs> at miserable people in my life. Subpar? I was like, oh my gosh. You weren't there, though. <laughs> Who's going to sing in your face? You brought them. Also, what is your life? Oh. That when your friend is getting married, Deborah Cox is walking by. All by that self. That's crazy. That, that Deborah Cox is in the same venue where your friend's getting married. Yeah. That's one. Then your friend know. I mean, Deborah Cox knows your friend, and then Deborah Cox sings her most iconic song to your friend on her wedding day. Mm. Like, what is your life that that's a thing that happened to you? I <laughs> harmonized with one third of Destiny's Child and Deborah Cox. Y'all low key. The comments were saying a new group was coming out. Huh? Okay. Kelly, Angel, and Deborah. It was called Kadeh. It's called Dick. <laughs> Kadeh or Cad. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God! People got to be eating. That's all. Why are you adding so much? I want. I want it to be more than just an acronym. Oh. Okay. We got Deborah, Angel, and Kelly. Kalandib. And Dec. No. No. We got to start with Kelly. Kalandib. 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 
No, that don't sound like I'd buy their tickets. Okay. Kelly. Kadabin. Kadabin. Because you got the A and the N. Yeah, Kadabin. King. <clears throat> Kelly. Kadabin. Well, Deborah has an E. No, that's not enough. Kadabin. Kadabin. I've got it said it. Kadabin. Kadabin. <laughs> Kadabin. Anyways, yeah, they were. Kelly like, Rollins harmonized with you. She did. Also, Rock Nation Brunch. Kelly Rowland is yeah. so pretty. Mm-hmm. And I use the word pretty or she beautiful. Is. She doesn't even look real sometimes. This is in person. She doesn't look real. I have been as close to this woman's face as this. As this. Beautiful. And she looks about as real as this Funko Pop. That's how pretty she is. I saw her in my St. Martin's thing. And I'm like, oh, from camera to person, you. No, she's. You are. Stunning. Stunning. I was like, Kelly, because she, she literally came from the Rock Nation brunch and got into her bridesmaid dress. So I saw her in her Rock Nation's brunch outfit. She came to the hotel room change. The outfit was glorious. Yeah. Then she put on the bridesmaid's dress, and I said, oh, my God, Kelly, you left your waist at home. <laughs> Kelly's waist was, again, the size of one of these goddamn old Funko Pops. And then that ass, don't quit either. I said, Kelly, what is... She Why? is stunning. Stunning is probably the best word. She is. At, she is a also, tag. what 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 makes it better? Just a warm person. She's so nice. So gracious. Genuinely, she's. You a know nice what? Person. You know what Kelly is? Regal beauty. Mm-hmm. If she was like the Queen of England, I'd be like, okay, now God save the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> God, come on, save <laughs> if, if Kelly, if they was like, get uh, who is over there now? Charles, <laughs> get, get him out. out. I don't care what the rules say. <laughs> Make Kelly the queen of England. We'd say, well, I'd be like, now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's so funny. Let Kelly be up in that Buckingham. She's been uh, a celebrity for a majority of her life. Majority of my a, life, too. An international superstar. So there is a graciousness that she continues yeah. to walk in because she she is aware of, uh, of who she is and never wants to come off like an asshole, yep. right? So there was a woman who was kind of in her way during speeches, I think, mm-hmm. or something was happening. And she goes, Angel, who is that? And I was like, oh, that's such and such. And I said, who was it? I'm not going to say because it's someone who I also like, and I'm not going to. All right, tell me. So, how to tell, so, tell us right after. So right after uh, I was like, can you not see? And she was like, it's fine, though. It's fine. I was like, Kelly, can you not see? She was like, Angel, it's fine. I was like, Kelly Rowland, can you not see? <laughs> <laughs> and I literally. Because the, the person was recording the thing, and I literally, shake your head. I literally did this. I want to shake your head. <laughs> what? And I scooted her all the way out of the way. Kelly was like, "Oh my God, Angel!" I said, "I ain't famous like you, so Listen. I can be a little abrasive, and it's fine." Did that person move just as graciously as you moved them? Oh, yeah. And then they they were like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry that I was in the way. I said, it's cool. But, yeah, I just, I lovingly put my hands on their back and just scooted them right on out the way. I said, I understand why you couldn't ask. Right. But everybody ain't able. But some people are. I said, Mm. I can. I can. I said, so you ain't got to worry about it. Can you just move? Nobody (laughs) wants you right where you are. Yeah. (laughs) And Kelly's behind you. Right. I want to be like, she needs to see. (laughs) (laughs) They have a group. We have a group with Deborah Cox. We got a new album we're working on. We're just gonna sing that one song, but we're we'll her on it. I'm just gonna do my mind because apparently that's you know. Your voice all is all subpar. Do. Your uh, hair is uneven. You look dusty. Who's vibrato is that? I'm talking about these miserable ass niggas came in They're there. Guns bro. Brrr, luckily, praise God, it made me feel good that I was like, I actually have some thick enough skin that I was just like. This yeah. is not phase me. I said they clown Beyonce so bad for saying thank you, God. So I should. They did. They were like, "What God she thinking?" When she won her award, when she said, "Thank you, God, thank you, God for protecting me." What God she thinking? If it, if Aaliyah was still here, that's who she need to be thinking. I saw person, that. I said Aaliyah. Wow. Aaliyah. God rest the dead. <laughs> I love Aaliyah. This has nothing to do with her. Beyonce was gonna be whoever she was. Regardless, Regardless of who was alive. I was like, you are put. I, 
it made no sense to me. And let me tell you, I loved Aaliyah. When she died, in the corner of our bathroom, we had a whole Aaliyah shrine. We had candles. Her one of her uh, I would never, album. I can't do this like I used to. Rock the boat. Oh my God! But Beyonce was already be, becoming Beyonce. I also was loving Destiny's Child at the time. <laughs> yep. I said you could say that to Sierra. Tell her to thank Aaliyah. But also, Beyonce? we didn't talk about this at all. You just remind me when you said thank God. <clears throat> Sam Smith uh, came out and did that devil worship. Right after Map City. I said, man. Immediately oh, after Map City. Oh, my God. We don't, let's not get into that. Let's not get into that. No, we're going to talk about it for a second. Okay. Quavo's tribute song to uh, Take Off. Take Off, yeah. Did you watch it, Angel? I, not one piece. Oh, my Angel. Angel. No matter where you are in grief, you will be met. Okay. When I, Chandler Moore's raspy, strong I'm getting, rasp. I'm getting chills just thinking about when it. When Chandler Moore came in singing, I was like. Let's try to find it. Did it, did it take you down? You was, th- it, was it like God? Godspeed? Speed? No, Godspeed is another level of pain. Mm. Now, yeah, all the. You, listen, them church you. people were so mad at Maverick City. Because they sang with oh. Takeoff and Quavo? <laughs> The church people was, I see, well, they might as well let Dante Bo back in now. They don't sing with the Quavo. That is the same with everybody. They down there with the world in Quavo singing the Fast and the Furious song. Wow. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready, Kev. You're not, Josh. I remember the days I used to smoke. Almost sparked one to this. It sounds so good. Mm. I was already crying by this time. Oh, I was like, I hear the lyrics. I'm just like, this is a songwriter. This is a song of the year. So good. You can feel the emotion through it. Naomi sang, didn't she? There she is. They did that thing. She do. Somebody, somebody in the Patreon told me to shut up. In the, <laughs> it's, a podcast, it's a podcast. I mean, you can listen to it on your own with nobody. I, I want to talk to my friend. About, why you tell me to shut up on my podcast? Because they tell you to shut up. Somebody told me to hush up on one of my posts. That's, my post too. That's what they were doing in the shade room. They, they did it to me. Shut on, up in on my page. Somebody said, hush, Angel. I said, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. 
You can go listen to it anytime you want. You always gonna hear my voice on my content. Listen. Let me tell you. You gonna hear if it's something I recorded. I think she was talking about smoking weed though, okay? When we said we we're gonna spark up to this. Oh, dang. Well, thank you. <laughs> Just wanted to clear like, that. I burn. I smoke weed, bro. It's legal in California. Also, so I want to say this about Maverick City. People being Maverick City, church folks oh, are man. nothing if not consistent. Mm. You go all the way back to the Clark sisters. They was mad at Twinkie, uh, Dorinda, mm. and Karen. I believe Jackie was there, or maybe Denise. I don't know. But they was mad at them because mm. y'all went over on that Grammy Awards and you, you were singing with all them whirly and all the way to 2023. Folks are still mad. Totally forgot about this. Um... We don't really have time now because we got to shoot the other podcast. But the hip hop tribute oh, was great. I heard it. It was. It was like all old school people. <laughs> it felt like thirty artists, and they were like, "All right, man, Nelly, and then the baby, and little Uzi Vert." I was Uzi like, was like, <laughs> I was like, dog. It was cool. Hurt and old man. This Queen Latifah, no problem with this. But from that amount of old school people, and I thought Lil Baby came. came and it, was it was like, literally all right. Enough of them. Now Nelly. All right. Now Lil Baby and Lil Uzi. Oh, <laughs> every what? generation. It felt like the the there meme. There so many it, other artists in between. It felt like the meme where they're holding up the the, the tight handkerchief. They jump from all of them. Well, I guess they went to Buster too. Glorilla. But, but Buster. Oh, Big Glorilla. Glow. Big Glow was there too. I, if, uh, but e, there was a e. whole section of 2000 to 2010. They were like, Nelly, you gonna Nelly. cover Nelly, you gonna cover everything from 2000 to 2020, mm-hmm. and then we got Lil Baby, <laughs> Glow, and said, uh, and Uzi. They I said, said "Dang, mm-hmm. they they a whole the, they said no. the South got something to say. That's why we put Lil Baby on there. The no, the boy, people who that, made us say that. That no. big boy though. That big boy. Yeah, I ain't see big boy." And people got mad at me because there was a dude on there who was really strong, and I didn't know him. I was like, who's that? And they're like, I didn't want to ask because I don't want black people to be like, you don't know the, uh, the person that everybody black knows? Yeah, big boy was there. Uh, what the big, what'd the big boy say? I didn't see his part. What, is, but what does he say in songs? He's in Outcast. Uh, Outcast. Big boy, big boy. Yeah. You know who I'm thinking of. Big boy, the radio personality. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that radio <laughs> big boy. I was like... Okay, if it's not Big Boy, the radio personality. This Big Boy with an eye. I. I got it now. <laughs> and uh, I'll be forgetting about Atlanta being the South. God yeah, the it. South got something to say. I was watching the Source Awards when Andre said that. And I was living in North Carolina, so I felt... Yeah, I was, he hasn't said anything since. Yeah, he playing that flute. All right, we love y'all. <laughs> we'll see about the bonus. I believe me and Melissa are doing something on Friday morning. So we'll find uh, something. Also, DeVal and Kadeen's book comes out today. Oh, it does? Uh, okay, we Over Me. Comes out today, so make sure you get that because I really want them to be on the over me. So if you don't, uh, if you don't have it, get it. Tempo. All right, love you. Bye. Yes, sir. Here's another thing for you.